So I am making this video for show people and pet groomers, because um, I know I've had people ask me about pet trims on English setters before. This is Nigel. Um, he is my pet male now. I don't show him now. So um, I usually let him grow out all year round. Um, and he likes having the feathering clipped off. He's not a real big fan of being combed out. So I do a clip like this in the spring. So I just thought I'd show everyone. This is the pet clip or a field trim, um, as a lot of sporting breed dog owners like to call it, um, on an English setter. So what I did first um, was bathe him, obviously really good, um, and I high velocity uh, dried against the hair growth his jacket. Um, he doesn't really grow a lot of uh, jacket. I don't. I probably haven't stripped him in two years. Honestly, I can just kind of go over him with a guard comb and keep it short, and it just doesn't get much thicker than this. Um, so I went over and did that, and then with his feathering still wet, I went over his back because this is where he tends to mad up. Everywhere else he stays pretty good, but he always gets really mad at back here. So when that was wet, I clipped that with the three and three quarters blade. And um, if the coat was dry, this blade probably wouldn't be able to get through it. But when it's wet, it's a little more pliable and you're able to get the blade underneath the mats and trim them up. So um, that's how I removed most of his matted coat. And then after he's dry, I go over him with the wall number one or peach colored or orange as I call it um, attachment comb on my wall clippers. So, um, and I did that pretty much all over his body. I did his jacket um, and you can't really tell because it leaves it so long. Um, I don't like going any shorter on their jacket because I think it ruins the color and the texture. Some people don't mind shaving it, but I think doing this length on an English setter leaves them a little more natural and um, just a little more balanced because even though it's not a show cut, even uh, with pet grooms, you still want them really well balanced. He's still intact, so I do a pretty good size sanitary trim on him underneath here so he's not getting pee all over himself. Um, underneath his legs, I shave all of that out with a 10 blade. Um, I still do the tail, keep the tail relatively short and flag it. And um, he doesn't really grow a lot of ear furnishings, so I always just keep it trimmed because otherwise it just looks raggedy and and uh, sparse. Um, and then I still do the neck with the 10 blade. And um, if I wanted to, I could really take the time with the thinning shears and blend that. I just usually leave it alone because it's not like he's in a show groom anyway. So it doesn't really bother me not to have it blended. But you could really take the time if you wanted to blend everything in correctly. Um, and then, of course, do his feet nice and tight. Um, so this is my video to show my English setter in a field trim with um, about half inch length all over.